Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 9. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the position of the scrubber when you copy and paste clips onto your ScreenFlow timeline. Do you want the scrubber to reposition at the end of the clip when you paste? Or do you want the scrubber to stay in the same place when you paste in a new clip? So I want to make a copy or a duplicate of this bottom clip and just paste it above the audio clip and keep it in the exact same position. So to copy the clip, I'm just going to select it and use the keyboard shortcut Command C to copy it to the clipboard. You can also come up to the edit menu and select copy. Since I want to paste the clip in the exact same position, I'm just going to drag the scrubber to the beginning to where those clips are cut. So now I'm going to paste the clip. To paste, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Command V. You can also go to the edit menu and select paste. So notice that the scrubber is at the beginning of the clip where we're going to paste it in. And watch what happens after I use Command V to paste it. So here we go, Command V. You see the scrubber automatically reposition itself to the end of the pasted clip, which may be exactly what you want so you can continue down the timeline. But what if you wanted the scrubber to stay in the same exact place when you paste in a new clip? To change the default behavior of the scrubber when pasting clips in ScreenFlow 9, you're gonna come up to the ScreenFlow menu and select Preferences, or use the keyboard shortcut, Command, Comma. Click on Timeline, then you're looking at this very top preference, Reposition Scrubber After Pasting. When checked, the scrubber will move to the end of the new clips that are pasted into the timeline. So if we uncheck this, when you paste in a new clip, it will stay at the beginning of the clip. So I'm gonna close this out, I'm gonna select the clip, I use Command C to copy it to the clipboard. And I'm gonna paste it in with the scrubber at the beginning. I'm gonna hit Command V and you will see the scrubber stayed at the beginning. And to change it so the scrubber automatically repositions itself to the end of any clips that you paste into your ScreenFlow project, come up to the menu, click on ScreenFlow, Preferences, or use the keyboard shortcut Command Comma, click on Timeline, and check this box, Reposition Scrubber After Pasting. I'll close that out with the scrubber in the position where I want the beginning of the pasted clip. I'm gonna use Command V to paste in the clip and you will see the scrubber automatically reposition itself to the end of that pasted clip. My name is Mike Murphy and that is your quick tip in ScreenFlow 9. Cheers.